In Great Britain, there are a number of regulations that have been put in place to deal specifically with the use of hazardous substances in the workplace. COSH, which stands for the Control of Substances Hazardous to Health, is the set of regulations that aims specifically to address the health issues of using hazardous substances in the workplace, with its primary aim being to prevent ill health. COSH covers the vast majority of substances and mixtures of substances used or produced in the workplace that are potentially hazardous to health. Specifically, this includes substances or mixtures classified as dangerous to health under the CHIP regulations. CHIP stands for Chemicals, Hazard, Information and Packaging for Supply Regulations. These regulations require manufacturers and suppliers of chemicals to classify dangerous substances and to label them with symbols indicating physico-chemical, health or environmental categories of danger. All packaged substances with any of these chip symbols appearing on the label indicating a danger to health are covered under COSH. The first symbol indicates a substance that is either very toxic or toxic. The second symbol indicates a substance that is potentially harmful or is regarded as an irritant. And the third symbol indicates a corrosive substance. The first two symbols are also used to indicate substances that are sensitizers, carcinogenic, mutagenic or toxic to reproduction. Also covered under the Koch regulations are all flammable and explosive substances that are covered under DSEER if they are also potentially hazardous to health. DSEER stands for Dangerous Substances and Explosive Atmospheres Regulations 2002. Substances that have workplace exposure limits approved by the Health and Safety Commission. Biological agents that are generally directly connected to work activities. Dusts of any kind in concentrations as specified in the regulations, and any other substances that have not already been mentioned but, nonetheless, present similar health hazards, for example, pesticides and some non flammable gases and vapours that can act as asphyxiants, such as helium and argon. COSH does not cover asbestos and lead. These are covered by separate regulations. Substances that have only flammable or explosive properties. These are covered under DSEER. Biological agents that are not directly connected to work activities. And substances that are hazardous only because they are either radioactive or they are at high temperature. At low temperature, or under high pressure. Other regulations, of course, do apply.